This is a special message from Yahweh Ben Yahweh. 12-16-1991 And behold, and in speaking and reminding us in learning Hebrew, seeing Lamed Mem Sofit. It's been a long time since I've talked to you personally, individually, in this manner. It's been on my mind for quite some time to do this, but I had not done so. Today is that blessed day whereby you can hear me as I say at least three or four things that are very, very important for you and your salvation. The first thing that I would like to express to you is I'm on a fast and I certainly thank Yahweh for you, hey, wah, hey, for each of you that have elected, chosen, to go on a fast also. We're on a water fast, those who choose to do so, from 8 a.m. this morning until 8 a.m. next Monday morning, or this coming Monday morning. I repeat that this is not required of any soul listening to my voice, either in this city or any other, or any other place around the country. All of the brothers here at this institution have elected to fast with me and all of us together. I did not allow uh, Brother Ahinadab to fast because he had already starved to death once and uh, I wouldn't want his condition to be weakened or be reactivated uh, by this process. Once again, I repeat, uh, you should not do this unless it's what you want to do. We who have volunteered to fast these eight days are doing it for my release from this institution. Now, for you who are really spiritually attuned, you know, understand, and realize that I'm already free. Not only am I not bound, I'm incapable of being bound. The only restriction that I have is a physical one of my physical body. But my spirit cannot be bound, as you witness me speaking to you now. Uh, my mind cannot be bound, as you witness at this moment. So when you fast and pray for my release, if you don't understand, and even if you do understand, you're praying for your own release because you are the one who is bound. And when you are bound, then you don't see things clearly. You don't understand clearly. And it presents a great problem for you and your spirit to be free. I would like to remind you and, and go over for a second Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61, and I believe it's verse 1. I'm going to read this to you, and if you have a Bible, that's good. You can read along with me. The reality is the Spirit of the Lord God, Yuhei is upon me. I can tell you of a surety that I already have the victory. I got the victory last night. Wendy got the victory last night. I absolutely have the victory. I'm going on the next uh, seven days from today, I'm going on these days all in great joy. In times past, I have fasted and prayed, seeking something for penance or for uh, whatever other than a joy, always seeking. This time, I'm fasting and praying, fasting in a rejoiceful state, in an extremely blissful state, a high state. I already visualize what the judge, what I want him to say. I'm already visualizing. I'm visualizing what I want to happen. And I already not only affirm it, I receive it. I accept it. 
And I understand the power of Genesis 11:6 that those of us who volunteer, then uh, we actually win. When we volunteer, we become one. That's why I'm very, 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 very adamant in letting you know you don't need to get on this fast because someone else has or because you think I want you to. No. It should be strictly something you want to do and for your own freedom. What we're really fasting and praying for is the release of our nation, the nation of Uhewafe. We've been held by others in this country for 437 years. We've been held under the mark of the beast for 5,995 years. Some of you are still waiting on the mark to come. Someone to mark you in your physical hand and mark you on your uh, physical forehead. When in reality, you were born under the mark. And you've been under the mark for, as I said earlier, 5,995 years and have not known it. Your hand has already been marked these last 400 years since you've been in this country. You've been unable to do anything for yourself without his permission. What is his mark, his mindset? You have Lucifer's mindset, and you need to pray and fast for that to be released, to be released from his mindset. So many have strayed away from, if they ever were in, what I teach, and they're in your midst and around you even now. But, again, this fast is to be released from the old man, the old mindset, in every form. And being that that old mindset is very subtle, and more subtle than any beast of the field, then what you'll find yourself doing is making compromises to please the ways of this world. And that's just a part of the old mindset. So you need a release from that. And you're in prison from that. I want you to know that I've already overcome, and I can tell you that in I, John chapter 2, verse 14 I have written unto you Father because ye have known that you've known him from the beginning I have written unto you young men because you are strong and the word of you Yahweh abideth in you and you have overcome the wicked one so in verse 15 here's what you must do how do you overcome the wicked one Love not the world. Whose world? His world. Love not his world. Neither the things that are in this world. That's what many of you love, is the things that's in this world. If any man love the world, then the love of the Father is not in him. The love of my Father, you hey, wow, hey, is just not in you. And I'm not going to jump on you with the external things that you do that proves you love this world. But they're incongruent. Some of you think loving this world equates a car or a house or shoes or something like that. But we're talking about the absolute mindset. Uh, what are some of the things of this world? Sport, play, television, movies, the things of this world. Uh, whatever the idea is that he uses to capture your attention and cause you to work to help him maintain his civilization, uh, which is an atheistic civilization. Uh, those of you that love Yuhei Wafe are spiritual, and uh, you love spiritual things. Does that negate a house? No. Does that negate food? Of course not. But if you don't understand his world versus your world, then uh, as you begin to study your name in Hebrew and begin to understand the words that comprise your name in Hebrew, then you will understand better what I'm talking about. Now, also I mentioned a moment ago, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1, the spirit of the Lord God, Yuhei is upon me. And you need the spirit of Yuhei upon you. Because the Lord Yuhei he has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. When you learn your name and come into the power of your name, 
you will preach good tidings also. As long as you sit back and feel that I'm the only one that is anointed with the spirit of Yahweh, then you are still blind, deaf, dumb, ignorant, and dead to the power. In other words, you may walk around in the form of Yehawate while you're denying these powers that come from your name and from knowledge of your name. That's where it is. And only you can learn the song that I'm teaching. And when I say you, I'm speaking of those who choose to be among the 144,000. It's strictly choice, just as you would choose to fast. You can't help me. You can only help yourself. I can help myself. I don't need you to help me. But you need plenty help. Because you're the one that's bound. I'm not bound. All your prayers can't bind me, and all your prayers together can't unbind me. That's my power and my authority. And I'm here to give you power to become. That's what, that's what John uh, chapter 1 uh, verse uh, perhaps 10 verse 12 I come to give you the power let's go to John chapter 1 verse 12 but as many as receive me it is to you that I give power to become the sons of you even to you that believe on my name your name comes from my name so if you say you believe on my name and don't know your name, then you don't know who I am. As I've been teaching you for years, when you find out who you are, then and only then can you possibly know who I am. So if you don't know your name, you don't know me. If you don't have the knowledge of your name, you can't live your own attributes. Your name contains your attributes. Your name contains your power. So here I am, ready to give you the power to become the sons of Yuhei Wahe. But instead of you becoming, you are looking at me in awe and sitting there trusting in the knowledge that I possess instead of coming into the power that I'm offering you. This is what it is to become one. How can you become one with me and my father as I am with my father unless you come into the knowledge of your name? Because that's the only thing that connects you to me is your name. And only when you begin to study and master your name can you understand you hey Wave. That's my name. You hey Wave, Bathing Sophie, you hey Wave. You can't understand any other way okay there's no other way for him to understand there's no other way for him to understand okay now let us take you to um, Isaiah 61 verse 1 again the spirit of the Lord God Yahweh is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. I am ready to anoint you and I've given you to understand the importance of going into your name. Yuhei Wafi has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. This fast is to release your spirit so that you can learn how to bind up the brokenhearted. And you will automatically know how to bind up the brokenhearted and will never sit around and not bind up the brokenhearted when you come into the knowledge of the power of your name and live yourself. You see, when, when you read, let me give you another secret. When you read uh, John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh. If you, if you were conscious, then you would have already discovered long years ago that Word is synonymous with name. It's synonymous. And when you begin to come into the knowledge of your name, then you'll understand that's what I'm giving you right here from John chapter 1, verse 1. Is in the beginning was your name. The Hebrew out of faith. 
in the beginning was your name. And your name was with you, Hewahe. And the name is you, Hewahe. See, it's the name. I'm come publishing the name. I've taught you all along. Don't pay any attention to my body. That it's not about my body. And that those of you who may focus upon my body are missing the point. Perhaps you'd better close your eyes. Like tonight, you are forced to listen to my voice. So you, you don't have to worry about being confused and looking at my body. Now, I'm not going to stay here in prison physically forever just so you can uh, maybe wake up or start smelling the coffee. If you're going to meet me in gallery, then you're going to follow my instructions and teachings that I've been giving you over the years, only now this is it. I'm announcing the bridegroom is coming. I'm announcing it loud and clear. You can be a wise version or a foolish one. And it doesn't matter. That's what you'll be. It's your choice as you would choose to fast. And we've had people just go hungry. There's no need for you to go hungry because you're not going to be blessed going hungry. And when you're not inclined to fast, then you'll worry about a lot of things, you know, like what you're going to eat tomorrow. <laughs> you'll worry about, uh, oh, I have to do a lot of work and running. Oh, I have to go to go to my job. Uh, oh, I would fast, but, uh, you know, there, there'll be a lot of buts. So why carry yourself through hunger pains when it's not in your mind or your heart to do this? Do it only if you feel it. I repeat that. See, you, up, if I didn't speak to you tonight, you might go on the fast and think you're doing it for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. When I want to do something for me, I fast for me. When I fast, it cleans my body, not yours. So when you fast, you're going to be cleaning your body. And see, it's not just the physical thing, because the physical is a sign of the mental and the spiritual. So what you really need cleaning is your spirit, your mind. And you need to learn how to take on these attributes that I'm talking about. Isaiah 61, verse 1. I'm anointed to proclaim liberty to the captives. You've been captivated and been a captive of Lucifer's teachings and mindset for 5,995 years coming into the night. You need the victory over Lucifer's mindset. You need the victory over Lucifer's subtlety because you definitely are a captive. And when you get the victory, you can get the victory tonight. If you're ready to lay down the life of this world and die to this world, yes, you do have to die to go to heaven. You sure do. That's a shock to you tonight. I know it is. Yes, you have to die to go to heaven. You certainly do. You can't walk into heaven like you are. So while you sit there in fright and thinking about dying, once again, that may be why you need to fast and pray. Because what do you have to die to? You have to let the mindset you have die. And it's been with you all your life. This mindset you have has been with you your entire life. So you can't get rid of the old man just because you say it with your lips. It's a process that, that requires a great deal of energy and a great deal of effort. So when you read uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, where it says, 22, um, uh, Ephesians 4, 22 and 23, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Now this is to the wise, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which is after you hey wah hey is created in righteousness and true holiness I want you to know tonight listen to me real well I made up my mind on last night that I'm going into my secret closet and pick up my holy robes that I laid aside and put in my secret closet to come and get you. 
and I've been walking among you without my holy robes for 12 years. Well, I'm picking them up and putting them on. And I'm going into the box and take out my starry crown and I'm putting it on my head. And I'm reaching into the box and picking up my scepter and it's in my right hand. And I'm going to sit on my holy throne in true holiness. And that's the only way I'm going to walk. And if you ever hope to be in my presence, you will certainly have to be an angel of you, hey, Wave. And that's a fact. Because I'm definitely going to Galilee. And for you who think that's a physical place, you still have a serious problem. You need a new man real bad. You need to get rid of the, the deceitful lust real bad. Because it's a new mindset where I live, where I'm going, and where you're going to have to meet me. Am I going to get out of here physically? Of course I am. Of course I am. I've made up my mind to do so. And because I've made up my mind to do so, I am. And I know some of you will get so excited and you want to prepare for me to come home and you can just see yourself now getting all this dinner ready, etc. and I may not be there. You see, the real feast is not physical and none of you will be able to deceive me with a physical feast. In fact, I'm not going to allow an unclean person to fix a meal for me anyway. Some of you think unclean is when you're on your issue, I know. Some of you think unclean means when your hands haven't been washed and your dirt, your physical clothes are soiled. No, 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 no. The old mindset is unclean. You hey wahe. Even Satan is going to have to worship you hey wahe. He can't walk with me. That's for sure. I certainly would not allow him to walk beside me. That's for sure. So what makes you think things are going to be the same when I come out? I'm just not the same man that was arrested November 7th, 1990. I've been here now 14 months, and I'm totally, totally different. I've been transformed, and I have transcended, and I have transfigured right here. And those of you that's been coming out here to see my body, my dead body, yes, I've been slain for you. I've already been slain for you. I have suffered for you and I'm tired of hanging on the cross for you I've done it I have fulfilled the word in doing it and if you think you're just going to come out here and watch my body in this tomb forever you are sadly mistaken terribly mistaken so I'm coming off the cross that's a fact I've just come down I came down last night I'm off I'm already off and it's only a matter of whatever time decreed that I'm physically leaving here I can guarantee it's not wrong that doesn't mean you'll see me it certainly doesn't mean that you will see me if you have some oil in your lamp you'll be able to see me if you decide that you want to be holy you will see me because I am not going to allow unholy people to be around me anymore. I am only interested in those who will reflect my light. Because I am self-luminous. And when you master the knowledge of your name, then you too will become self-luminous. But if you don't have the knowledge of your name, you will never be self-luminous. You have walked in my light for 12 long hard suffering years on my part and I have suffered your soiled hands and your sewer mentality and I'm not coming back to it ever that's over and done and it's finished and you can read Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see you ain't wifey so if your mind is not pure, you can forget it. In verse 16, let your light so shine before men.
that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, your Hewabe, which is in heaven. So you can't do this without the knowledge of your name and live it. You can't walk in my light anymore. It's over. See, all of you have been wearing white because I wore it. Look at how many are not wearing white since I've been in prison. Look how many are wearing fingernail polish and lipstick and, and uh, hair straightening and, and all of that. They're doing all of that. They do it in my face. Some wear the opposite of white. They wear black. Uh, any excuse. You know, you wear shorts. Uh, uh, really kicking back. Well, that's great. That's your life. That's not mine. I'm not going to require you to do anything. You can go naked if you want to. You can go physically nude if you can get away with it. That's fine with me, because I've taught you for 12 years. So now, it's up to you to let your light shine, because see, I'm not going to let you walk in mine anymore. That's over. Al fine, passe. That's it. So you will have to make up your own mind to fast, to receive the power that I'm here to give you. Have you not heard? that you are God? Well, I'm here giving you the power to become God. I'm the only one that can. No one else has ever been able to cause you to become God. And you can only become God through your name, which is my name. You don't qualify to wear my exclusive name. That's why I never did allow you to. You ain't want me. But I give you a name. Every name that I have given you, every name of Israel, is from and derived from my name. And if you have been studying, you know this is real. So in conclusion of uh, Isaiah 61, then I am come and, and I have been anointed to open the prison to them that are bound. And in verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yuhay and the day of vengeance of our God, Yuhay Wahpe. And I'm here to comfort every one of you that desire to be holy and live holy. Now, tonight, I have told you the secret of how to sanctify yourself according to Leviticus 11, verse 44, and be holy as your Father in heaven is holy, as I am in heaven and holy. Uh, I'm ascending, absolutely ascending, and you better run and tell everybody. You better run and tell everybody that they can meet me in Jerusalem. Because that's where you're going to meet me. If you meet me, we'll be in Galilee. That's where it is. In Galilee. This is the acceptable year. Right now. Right now. And for those of you that don't have any oil in your lamp, well, I guess you better go buy some. I guess you had better go buy some. Maybe there's somebody selling oil that will give you a light to walk around in as I'm teaching right now. For the rest of you who volunteer to fast, that you can be released from Satan's mind and so that you can overcome the mark of the beast. You can overcome the mark of the beast. And for you who've been waiting on somebody to come out with a laser gun, you're in big trouble because that makes you think you got plenty of time. And when in fact your time has already run out, your time has run out now because you are under the mark of the beast and been under. His five power structures teaching are all his mark. And if you wanted to go into business, you have to put this number on, on, on the wall for how many years? All your life. It's called license. So you waiting on the mark. You can't drive an automobile without his number. It's on the back of your automobile. It's in your pocket. You've been under his mark all the time. And you've been suffering those boils and those sores and that torment. All that is written in Revelation chapter 13. You've been suffering it all your life because you are under the mark of the beast. Now you can spread this across the country and the universe so that everybody can understand what the mark of the beast is. It's the mindset of Lucifer, everything you have been taught from the womb that made you lame inside your mother's womb 
up until this very minute is the mark of the beast. Every teaching in his institution, no matter what you have inside your head that doesn't come through the knowledge of your name is the mark of the beast. If you want to overcome it, then that's what this fast and prayer is about. You're overcoming so you can meet me. I put on my robes, children, and I will only be walking in holiness. And it's not about my body, so guess what? It's not about your body either. So you who dream of your body being in close proximity to my body, you got a big problem. Because the only way you're going to be close to me, I repeat, is to be an angel of you hey Wafe. And the only way you can be an angel of you hey Wafe is to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And then you will go about the world preaching my gospel of the good news, carrying out Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 and 2, and letting the world know this is the acceptable year of the Lord. You hey Wafe. Hey? And his son, you hey Wafe, based in Sophie, you hey Wafe. As you can tell, I love you. I know my time is up. It's been up. And uh, you hey Wafe, bless me to talk to you on for another moment or two. But I love you dearly, incessantly. And though this is a wonderful family meeting, I can see all of you there at uh, YEC. And I see you in the cafeteria. And again, I love you, and I've demonstrated that for 12 years that I love you with my life. I have to love you to lay my life down and to come and suffer the torture that I suffer here. And you should be ashamed for making me suffer like this. You should be ashamed. I didn't say you should feel guilty. I said you should be ashamed. But then I will let Wendy address that to you. There are so many of you who carry such an evil, wicked spirit of Lucifer. I can recall when you were uh, envious and jealous and full of hatred towards Sister Judith because she was bringing you messages from me, which was really your hatred of me. I must tell you to your face, you carry the spirit of Lucifer. So Sister Judith has been removed from your presence, and you don't have any reason uh, to carry that wicked spirit that you carry. She's not in your face. She too is suffering for 14 months. Some of you have never written her a letter. And you say you love me. Some of you have never desired to see her. And then you say you love me. Some of you have never sent her a card or taken her a piece of fruit if you're allowed to or expressed the desire to see her. And you say you love me. I remind you of another scripture. Whatever you do to the least one of mine, you do it to me. Remember I was in prison and you didn't come to see me? I was hungry and you didn't feed me? Well, whatever you do to the least one of mine, you do it to me. The brothers that are here with me, oh, it's easy for you to see them or even be on their list because they're here with me. But that sister is isolated and all alone physically. 14 months and she's showing strength and perseverance and though those that came from her womb supposedly her son wired up for the enemy to destroy their mom that even white lawyers said it's disgusting it's despicable and some of you sitting there are disgusting and you are despicable because you've hated that sister through the years because of her talents and gifts and abilities and working to help build the kingdom. She's out of your way, so you can't focus on her. So guess what you've done? Now you focus on Wendy because she's an investigative attorney doing a job that other attorneys didn't have time to do or maybe the will to do. That sister gave up her home, her husband, her profession, her job, her practice, to come and work for your release. And some of you have nerve to hate that sister, to dislike her, and to actively work against her, thinking you are working against her. She's your new sister Jay, I guess. 
but it's your loss to your soul, and you're the one damned for it. Because you will work against anyone that will come to work and help me. And you're damned for it. You need to fast and pray real quick and seek a lot of forgiveness. So your own soul can be free and released from the prison that would cause your mind to harbor such evil, wicked thoughts about anybody on this planet while our language in prison. But I love you. I love the L inside you. I certainly don't love your evil, wicked, despicable ways, but I love your L. And I'm, a, I'm speaking to your spirit. I'm speaking to your soul. And this is your last chance. I'm eternal. Yes, my enemy can destroy your body, but only you, hey, Wafe, can destroy both your body and soul in hell. Again, I love you. May the blessings of you, hey, Wafe, be upon you while we are absent one from another. And may you be blessed to meet me in Galilee when the announcement is made. Because when I come, I will come suddenly. So you won't have time to figure out how to fix me nothing physical anyway. Because I will be coming out suddenly. Because it's written. And everything about this book is true. So all of this shall be fulfilled. Again, I love you. Shalom Aleichem.